So hey everyone welcome back to the channel in this video we will be solving a problem normal BST to balance BST. So we are given a binary search tree modify the given BST such that it is balanced and has minimum possible height return the balanced BST. For example if this is going to be my BST I need to return a balanced BST. Now basically what is a balanced BST. So in a balanced BST the height of the left nodes minus the height of a right node can be maximum equal to 1 or it can be 0 also. For example, if you are standing at 20 here, the left tree height is going to be 1 and the right tree height is also going to be 1. So, this is going to be a balanced BST. Okay. Similarly, for this, this is not a balanced BST because here the left height is going to be 3 and the right height is going to be 0. So, this will be having a height difference of 3. So, it's not a balanced BST. So, maximum the difference can be up to 1. So, for all these BSTs, this is going to be a balanced BST, right? So we need to convert a normal BST into a balanced BST. And I hope you have understood the problem. The expected time complexity for this is going to be order of n and the expected space complexity is going to be order of n. So let's discuss this problem in more detail. So let's say my tree is like this, four, three, two, and one. Now, you know one thing for a BST, the in-order traversal is sorted. So let's do an in-order traversal. So our in-order traversal will look something like this. Now in order to make a balanced BST out of this, what you can do, you can have a start pointer which will be pointing to 0. Now you can store this in-order traversal in a vector or an array of length n. So you can declare a vector because it's dynamic in nature and you don't know about the height previously. So let's store all of them in a vector. Now you will be having two pointers, basically the start pointer and the end pointer. And we will make a function where we will be passing the start pointer as well as the end pointer. Now for this, my n is going to be 4 and e will be pointing to n minus 1, which is basically 3. So start will be at 0 and e will be at 3. So let's calculate the midpoint. So midpoint will be nothing but 0 plus 3 by 2, which is going to be 1. So this is going to be the midpoint. Now taking this as a midpoint, what you can do, you can define a root node of a tree. So let's define the root node and let's call the recursion for building the left sub part and recursion for building the right sub part. So my roots left will be nothing but let's say I make a function f, we will be passing this vector and for the left sub part, my start will be start only and and will be nothing but mid minus 1 right i will do a dry run also in order to make you understand also root arrow right will be nothing but f of v in this case my start will be nothing but mid plus 1 and end will be end itself for this tree what we had done 1 2 3 4 was my nodes and start was pointing initially at here and end was here okay now we will be making a root out of this and we will be calling the recursion to build the left subtree using this node. So for the left subtree mid will be again at 0. Now you will again calculate a mid and mid will be nothing but 0 only. Right now you will be making a node out of this. So let's attach a node to this and now you will call on the left sub part for this so on building the left sub part your end will shift to mid minus 1 so end will be minus 1 so as soon as you hit a point where start is greater than end you will return null we will attach a null to this and we can return from here similarly you can call for the right subtree for this node so when you will be calling the recursion for the right subtree your start will be mid plus 1 which is 1 so now here also your start crosses the end so you will attach a null to the right sub part for one and you can return now my work for the left sub part is over we can move to the root node right now we will make the right sub part using the mid plus one so three and four are the pointers basically here and we will calculate the mid again so start will be at one and end will be at three so this will be 2 and the end will be at 3. Let's calculate the midpoint. Midpoint will be start percent by 2. So that will be 2 again. So let's make a node out of this 3. So now we can make a node out of this. And 
let's call the recursion for the right set part so we will call the recursion for this and we can attach the right node as 4 and you know like when you will be trying to calculate the mid for this or when you will be calculating the left part for this your start will cross the end and you can attach a null to it and for 4 similarly you can attach a null to the left sub part and for the right sub part in the end you will be getting a tree like this where 1 will be the left node and 3 will be the right node and 4 will be the right node for 3 here the right sub tree height is going to be 2 and here the left sub tree height is going to be 1 the difference is going to be nothing but 2 minus 1 which is equal to 1 and in order to make this as a balanced PST your height should be less than or equal to 1 basically the difference of the height so i hope you have understood the problem now the time complexity for this is going to be first of all we are doing a in order traversal in order to make this so that is going to be order of end also we are using a recursion to build this tree so that will be nothing but order of end time because you are taking all the nodes in order to build the tree again the space complexity for this in the in order traversal the expected space complexity is going to be order of n as well as for this you are using order of n space so overall your time complexity is going to be order of n and the space complexity is going to be order of n so i hope you have understood the problem let's discuss the implementation so here this is going to be my in order function basically if my root node is going to be null we can simply return otherwise we can call the in order traversal for the left subtree and we can push the data into the vector and we can call the in order for the right subtree now in order to build the balance tree we will be taking a vector which we will be passing in the in order function so as to store the nodes now we can make a new root using this build tree function basically we will be passing the vector the start pointer and the end pointer okay now here the base case is that if start crosses the end we can return null we will be calculating the mid that is going to be nothing but start plus end by 2 we can make a new node using the mid pointer so you can make a node using this your left subtree is going to be nothing but you can pass start and mid minus 1 and you can build the left subtree using recursion similarly you can make the right subtree using recursion and you can simply return the root so i hope you have understood the problem in case if you have any doubts write it down in the comments like this video if you have understood share among your friends and i am posting videos daily on problem of the day geeks for geeks so you can consider subscribing to this channel thanks for watching guys